Every fall we'll uh, feed test our swath grazing and all of our feeds actually. And then we get a custom mineral made up for our swath grazing. And uh, of course it's based on the cereals. We sort of disregard the aspect of them having any grass alongside that. And just as if they were on the, on the cereals completely. So then we make sure that there's lots of calcium in the mineral. Well, our strategy with minerals is we'll feed test uh, these swaths and, our, and all our bales, all our feed resources essentially, and uh, send that information with our projected plan of, how, of use to our uh, mineral supplier and then they create a, a custom mineral mix for us, one for the calves and one for the cows. Experience, knowledge and a great animal nutritionist. Yeah, we use a nutritionist, we do <laughs> feed test. Here's the formula. We feed test, but generally we're, we're growing, trying to grow volume that's palatable. That's, a, that's no real secret to it. We find when our cows are swath grazing, they do not eat minerals. It's just our, our particular soil, but we're high salt in this neighborhood, and they, they don't tend to lick anything with salt, and they very seldom will eat minerals because they're eating off the ground, and they must be getting most of what they need. You can put it free choice, but they don't tend to touch it. Once we start manually feeding cows, then they go for it hard. Because we feed, we are sampling and, and doing a, a nutrient analysis of the triticale, uh, we know that we are a little bit deficient on calcium and calcium is a fairly important uh, component in third trimester pregnant cows. Uh, so we will supplement uh, them with some hay uh, to make sure that we are at least meeting the requirements, if not exceeding them, because it, it's not something that you really want to mess with when you got the cows to the third trimester. We have a vertical mixer, so we are cutting our hay bales up with some silage, and then we now are, are feeding a, a chelated mineral pellet. So they're essentially getting, I think, a half a pound of that now. So just to make sure that we get it spread out through the entire feed and an opportunity for each cow to get there requirement. It's way easier to blend good forage down to make a diet than buying supplement to make forage a uh, viable option. No, I wouldn't consider going to what I guess if you think of traditional winter feeding kind of from early November till the you know first part of May or something in this country uh, yeah, we can do so much better than that, even in hard years.